we know that a bill of exchange is a negotiable instrument that is it can be transferred from one party to another that this particular concept is known as endorsement that is when the holder of the bill that is the drawer or any other party who is holding the bill transfers this bill to the third party for satisfaction of his or her own liability or for any payments that are due from them so let us understand this again transfer of bill by the drawer or the holder of the bill to the third parties for satisfaction of their liabilities or any other payments due to them so now students that is one person transfers the bill to another person it is an easy concept but remember a bill of exchange through its language can prohibit its negotiation that is if it is written that the payment would be made to the drawer only once the word only is mentioned there that means the bill of exchange cannot be negotiated but if it specifically uses the word bearer or the order that means the drawer can order the payment to be made to somebody else or to the bearer of the instrument in that case the bill can be negotiated in this case the drawer or the holder what they will do is they will merely write the name of the person at the back of the bill remember whatever i am saying is done on the back side of the bill that is back side of bill what they will do is they will mention the name of the person to whom this bill has been endorsed and sign below it they'll put their signatures as a mark of the order that they are instructing the drawee to make the payment to the person who has been named at the back of the bill remember this is possible only in cases of bills which do not prohibit their negotiation let us understand this concept using an example a person a has sold certain goods of sold goods of rupees 50000 to b that means a has to receive the payment so in this case a becomes drawer and b becomes drawee and a bill is drawn this bill now rests with a that means a is a holder of a bills receivable from b let's take an example a then goes ahead and purchases goods from a party c a has made a purchase of 50000 rupees from c then he can do what he can do is he can transfer this bill receivable to c that means rather than paying making a payment of 50000 to c out of his own account what he has done is he has transferred the bill that he had received from b to c so on due date c will go to b and get payment of rupees 50000 once this payment is received all the liabilities in these mutually dependent transactions would be extinguished so in this case a was the holder of a bill he transferred that bill to c on account of payment that he had to make to c and c in turn gets the payment from b who was the original drawee so this is considered as the concept of endorsement 
that is the holder of the bill transfers the bill to third party for any payment that he has to make.